Hello and welcome back to another How To Blow. Today we're having a barbecue because it's, the weather's good. It's a bit windy but it's good, no rain. And to go with the, with the selection of delicious meats and, uh, and stuff and salad, we're gonna make, I'm going to make a potato salad and show you how to make a potato salad. Now, most importantly, you're going to need some potatoes. Now these potatoes are boiled. Don't boil them too, don't boil them too much. They just need to be a little bit firm. Um, we need one cucumber, um, cornican. cornican even, yes, two small onions and one large one. Better if you've got salad onions, but I haven't got any today, I can't get them. You need some mayonnaise, and that's it, some salt and pepper. So and let's go. And dill? Oh, the dill. No, no, that's just for something else. Oh, okay, don't, no, you must have been, dill doesn't go in this one. Okay, okay, now the type of potatoes you need, let me show you. potatoes you need are not the ones you'd use for chips um, uh, chips or, or um, baked potatoes you wouldn't because they're too starchy and they taste a bit a bit funny you need a waxy potato waxy potatoes now, if you're in any uh, doubt with what potatoes to buy normally the waxy ones if you buy them uh, loose will have still have mud or soil on them or if not if they got that washed off They'll kind of be, be um, a sort of a, a yellowy, orangey colour. Um, they're a different colour to the normal. Yeah, they're potato. not very white, are they? No, they're not very white. Um, and because what happens is, is when you boil waxy potatoes, you can you can the skin peels off like that. You see, this is what we need. We don't want for this recipe. We don't want the potatoes to have the skin on. So, but with an ordinary potato, this wouldn't happen. The skin wouldn't wouldn't come off, so you know that these are um, waxy potatoes, or low starch ones. Anyway, they're probably not the best ones you can use. Well, you know, the price being uh, uh, the price point being the key deciding factor. You have to work out what you can afford, what's good for the family. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to peel these, and just we're going to use just a little knife. Like it doesn't have to be sharp. We're just going to peel them like this with our, with our uh, thumb and forefinger. Just go round them. Now, this is probably a good job to be doing in front of the TV. What? Yeah, in front of the TV because only because it can get a bit boring doing all these. So what we're going to do? Just do another one just to show you. See these potatoes are a little bit on the cut uh, of the starchy side, which is not 100% ideal, but it's, it's, all only, had, it's all we had. It's all I could get, could get. The shop we normally go to didn't have any uh, sour potatoes or waxy potatoes left, so we're going to have to use these. But as I say, the potatoes for the chips and the baked potatoes, then they're, they're not yeah. the ones you should you should be using. I kind of like these ones because you get like um, the potato gets a little bit more mushy in a salad. Yeah, and it's, you can you can't smell this obviously, but the, the smell is, is is quite refreshing. It's salady, salady, salady potato smell. Yeah. Is this just a thing? I don't know, but you can smell because because this recipe's got so few ingredients, just potatoes and mayonnaise and uh, and onion. Make sure that you're using the best quality ingredients. Because the, the quality of the ingredients will show out the fewer they are. So, just like that. Have a look in the bowl, please, camera, camera please, lady person. Missed a little bit of skin there. Oh, don't worry about that. It's all good fibre. Okay. So, what we'll do now, we'll come back when we've put it, we will peel all of these and we'll go to the next step. Welcome back. Um, but then we peeled all these potatoes. Now you can see the the size of them. Now there's a reason for that. Because this is not the absolutely ideal potato for this, if you cut them any smaller than that, that's the size, they'll tend to break up. So you just need them a little bit bigger with this using this type of potato, because that way it won't look a horrible mess of mashed potato and mayonnaise when you finish with it. So these are cool now, then hardly any temperature in them at all. What you don't want to do is mix hot, hot potatoes with mayonnaise, not good. Let them cool down, put them in a the fridge if you want to, 
Anyway, these are the um, uh, potatoes that we peeled. Here we go with onion. Two small onions or a large one. Now, if you can, it's better to use spring onions for this. What's it in? What's uh, scallions? Scallions. That's it. Spring onions because there's a better flavour and it's better, a bit of colour as well and a bit of green in there. So if you can get scallions or green onions as they're called, then do that. How many do you need? I don't know. Two or three. That'd be fine. The other important ingredient is a cornicon or cornichon. In French. In French. Is yeah. it cornicon in English? No, something else. I can't remember Pickle, what it is. Pickled uh, cucumbers. Pick isn't it? Yeah. No, it's not. Pickles. No. How do you call them? They have them sliced in the burgers in a very yeah. famous jo fast jo food jo joint. No, I can't remember. It's gone. I could probably come back to me in a minute. Anyway, you know what these things are, what they look like, what they're called in your country. So, we're going to chop them up really fine. Don't make them too chunky. It's potato salad you're making, not cornican salad. So, you get your cornican like that. You can do one or one or two at one go, like that. Nice and small. And then just whiz through it like this. Right, no bigger than that, just tiny little pieces. Okay. And uh, we'll do another one. Now. Okay, that's another one. And the last bit. We'll go across like that. Doesn't matter which way you cut it. Okay, so that's our cornican. So that goes in there as well. Now, what you could put in here is um, some diced olives. I haven't got any olives. In I've just had a look in the house. I'm oliveless um, this afternoon. What you got, you could do, is with the olive, you just got olives about this big isn't it you just cut it into little rounds round circles about four or five and then put them in don't have to I'm just saying there's something else you can put in there next you want to put some freshly ground black pepper or if you've got it ready milled you'll have to use that use some black pepper again there's some colour and a, and a particular flavour so I've got plenty of black pepper in there so be careful with the salt you don't need too much just a quick few grinds like that. If people, people can add salt, uh, but they can't take it out. So if you give somebody that something is too salty, it might suit you all right, but it might not suit them. So they go, oh no, I can't eat it, it's too salty. So let them add the salt if needed at the table. So what else can go in here? Now salad cream, that's a British thing. Salad cream, you know the jars of salad cream, I won't mention any names. Uh, could you put some herbs in it, like fresh herbs? You could do. You know, my salad herbs go in everything else, so you could put some salad and herbs in. But I would say that the, the cornicans and the onions, or if you've got scallions or uh, salad onions, is, is, is enough. Less is more, if you like. So you don't want to put some... But going back to the salad cream, the main, the main one we're going to use is mayonnaise. Uh, good quality mayonnaise. With the salad cream, just go give a blob or a tablespoon for it in there. It just gives it a little bit of edge. I don't think you can only get salad cream in the UK. I might be, I might be wrong. But uh, anyway, we're going to put the mayonnaise in now. How much mayonnaise? Well, that's a good question. It's got to look right. I'm not going to measure this out for you. You're going to have to see. Let's start off with this amount of potatoes. Let's start off with three big tablespoons like that. And then we're going to mix that. Like this, pick it, when you mix something, don't stir it like that, like you do paint. Pick it up from the bottom, like that. Otherwise you're gonna break up the potato. So slide your spoon down the side of the, the bowl and bring the stuff up from the middle like a volcano, like whoosh. You can make noises as well when you're doing it, if you want. Whoosh. Okay, look. Does he add to the flavor the noise? He does, he does, he does, yeah. It's, uh, it's taste and uh, sound and uh, taste. Yeah. Okay. A dinner and a show. <laughs> yep. 
See what you get in the movies. It's, you can't get this with anywhere anywhere else. Okay, so there we are. There's your salad. There's your. There is your. Standard, isn't it? St yeah, that's that's a standard potato salad. As I say, you could put in there a little bit of vinegar, a little tablespoon of vinegar to give it some twang, or you could put some olives. As I said, uh, you could put some parsley in there. But look. What I'm showing you today is a basic potato salad. Everyone is going to love that. Grandma, grandpa. Yeah. And I'll leave you to experiment with other things you can add to that. What you mustn't put in here is woody herbs like rosemary, like tarragon, tarragon like bay leaf. Yeah. No, no woody stuff, just salad herbs, which is like parsley, chives, um, so th herbs that are soft. Those two, I think, are nice. Chives but you could dry, add Yeah, dry chives, but try and stay with the fresh ones if it's all possible. Um, because the, if you put in things that are too dry, uh, you'd be able to pick them out. And they, they don't, don't, it's not a good eating experience. So, this, you can't go wrong with this. So what we're going to do, you, <laughs> you can serve it like that. I'm not saying that you can't, but how much nicer would it be if, let's get rid of this jar first. How much would it nicer would it be if I need oh, for spoon. serving, isn't it? For serving, how about this? So what you could do? Put in another dish. Oh. Oh yeah. What you could do? Carefully, don't not to break up the pieces of potato as you put it in, as you transport it. Now this dish is is better, slightly chilled, not at room temperature. So make a place in your fridge. And set it aside for your potato salad and um, that's one job out of the way isn't it because when you're barbecuing I think a lot of things are happening you've got to get the meat look after the meat it's a it's another job you can do in advance uh, for example it's two o'clock now just after two o'clock and we've made this for for the barbecue at seven so half past seven seven o'clock six half past six something like that so it's ready and it'll be perfect then. Just now, close shot there. Okay, so there we have it. Now a little sprig of parsley, I haven't got any here. Let's pretend this is parsley. This is dill, there we are, like that. Make it look pretty for the camera. A little sprig of parsley on there. Take that to the table with some salad spoons. Yeah. Now when you put it in the in the in the fridge, you've got to make sure you cover it. Whether it's this kind of dish or something, but you must cover it so that the the air, oxygen doesn't oxidize the, the food. Mm. Doesn't oxidize the potato or the mayonnaise. If you don't do this, it, it's gonna look weird when you when you serve it up. It's gonna be a dry at top, isn't it? It would be dry. It keeps all the fresh flavor in. You know, double up on it. Don't, don't go crazy, but you just wrap it around. A nice wadge of, of um, uh, cling film. And that is all ready to serve at seven o'clock. How about that? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this potato salad recipe. I'm sure you'll have lots of fun with it. If you think it's good, or you don't, leave a comment down below. You can catch my latest videos here, and you can subscribe down here. Until next time.